song. Peace officer, open up! Peace officer, open up! Out, please. Listen. Members of the jury, on August 2nd, 1995, state and federal law enforcement officials in a pre-dawn raid discovered 72 Thai garment workers held in virtual slavery in an El Monte, California apartment complex ringed with barbed wire and spiked fences. How did it all begin? Let's go back to Bangkok, Thailand. The prosecution calls on Ms. Rochana Chinjujit, also known as Na. It all began when a friend tell me about this man. He very nice, friendly, handsome. Even 38 or 39, he looked like younger, like 28. I can feel he very good personality. He can make everyone trust him easy. He said... Okay, are you interested to go America? America? Ah, yes, America. Where everyone rich. Rich? Yes, even poor are rich. <laughs> what I do? And what you do now? Sewing. Sewing? Yes, sewing. Los Angeles, fashion capital of the world. Need you to sewing. Huh? Clothes make plenty money, big business. How much money? Oh, it's good job. Mm, money good. Like how much? 40,000 baht. One month. 40,000 baht. That's the equivalent of about 1,200 US dollars. Wow. That kind of money, I can feed my whole family. Buy a house, a farm, a van. My father, he wants a van. She's from Northeast Thailand. That's good. Grade four education, excellent. Some experience in Bangkok factory, perfect. So what I do? I have no money buy ticket. Ah, that best part. No need spend any money first, huh? They buy ticket for you. Just go there, start work, then can pay back. 40,000 baht by that time is a lot of money. Because in Thailand, I make only 15,000 baht. Minimum wage in Thailand, only $4 one day. If work hard, can make more. I can so good. Weekend off, go to Disneyland. Universal Studio in America, no one can force you to do anything in a free country. So I take my chance. That's why I come here to America. Are you sure, Na? Yes, Ma, I'm sure. It's such a big step. I worry about you. Don't. We need the money, Ma. What if you don't like it there? Then I'll come home. Your children, they need you here. It's because of them that I'm going. Not bad. I'm a good seamstress, even if I say so myself. Do you like this dress? All those extra trips to the market, selling fruits and vegetables, just so I could buy a sewing machine. Looks like it's finally paying off. If I hadn't insisted... It's nobody's fault. I think I'll wear this dress on the plane. Must look nice in airplane. The marriage didn't work out, don't blame yourself. But I shouldn't have insisted. You didn't know he wasn't going to be a good father. Uh, men, they are so charming before they get married. Ma! I have accepted that I'm a divorced woman. You should too. I must do everything I can now to provide for the children. And this opportunity, it's like Buddha gave us a gift. America is so far away. It's only for three years, Ma. Three years will fly by so quickly. Before you know it, I'll be back. What if we open a business here? You know and I know that there's not enough demand, Ma. Even in Bangkok, it's a struggle. Don't worry, Ma. Everything will be fine. Just promise me you will look after the children. You could also say, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, it began in the 1970s. Congress passed what's called the Jenkins Act. The Jenkins Act was introduced to impose tariffs on imported textile quotas. About 20 years ago, a husband and wife... Sunni! What? I think we need to close shop. Why? Are the bills not paid? We can't keep up. I thought I paid all the bills and then this. Tariffs? Why do we have to pay this? I think the Americans think we violate copyright laws. Those bastards. We can call them what we like. But what are we going to do about this? Not give up, that's what. We will beat them at their own game. How? 
No. Ma! Your father and I. Can I have the car this evening? No, I pay attention. You can't have a good time all the time. This is serious. What is? Your father and I, we're not getting any younger. I've heard this before, Ma. We need to think about your future. Your father and I, we will take a chance, a gamble. What gamble? We're going to America. America? <gasps> pa, are you all right? Don't be so dramatic, husband. I suggest you start packing. <sighs> America is the best place to do business, especially You're if... not joking, Ma? Would I joke about such things? America? Where in America? Maybe I'll get to meet Brooke Shields in a blue lagoon. <sighs> when the Jenkins Act was passed, the Manasseh Raincoon family, finding it more and more expensive to do business in Thailand, decided to come to America and set up shop. I have no idea of visa or passport or whatever. I have no idea about that stuff. Never touch that stuff because I never go out of my country. So, okay, you go to the, how you call it? Uh, American Embassy? American Embassy, I see that man again. Hey, put this on, it will go. Nice around neck. Why? Must look like tourist, huh? Or you not get passport. Oh. Uh, because if not look nice, then I believe you have money to buy a ticket to America. I uh, just put gold chain. He also told me I had to get married. Just fine, friend. Lady, you can divorce. If travel is merry woman, less suspicious. So I asked my friend, will you marry me just for the passport? My friend said yes. Miss Sudavon, you're telling the court you were willing to commit document fraud. Yes, but I'm still a virgin. I only married to get passport. So I make my passport and give to him. On the day of my departure, I meet him at airport. He give me money. Hold on to it. He hand me 10 $100 bills, US. Then he give me my passport. I look in passport. But I see a different name. Your name, Maninut Samsatit. But my name, at that point, I didn't know what to do. When you go into an airport, you have to go in this line. Check luggage. I was very frightened and scary. Then you walk to that line, security. And boarding? You see the door, the gate, the number, this and that? Go there and get in the plane. You have to see your seat number. If you're not sure, you ask and they told you. Don't worry, go, go in the airplane. My hands so cold, nervous and excited. I don't know what's going to happen. Window seat, seat outside. I don't speak the language. I don't know what they're talking about. I have no idea. You don't have to speak the language in Los Angeles. A lot of Thai people. You go to the market, Thai. You go to the restaurant, Thai. Ah, sometimes can see Tom Cruise. What is Tom Cruise? <sighs> Big movie star. Have plenty of money. And no need to speak English. You have money or not, that's it. He said, and, and then, then I, I fly. fly. Meantime, in an immigration and naturalization office, Yes, you must be Sai, Mrs. Livingston. Your husband told me to expect you. You are the Phil Bono from Alien Smuggling, the one who speaks Thai. Yes, I am a special agent. What can I do for you? I met this woman. Go on. She's Thai. She said, I'm afraid. What are you afraid of? I asked. Your husband? <laughs> my husband. You don't have to be afraid of my husband. You can trust him. He's a lawyer. No, no, no. Not your husband, she said. Who then, I asked. Immigration. And then she said, Mafia, Thai Mafia. Thai Mafia? What did you do? Nothing. Well, then you have nothing to worry about. Uh, thai Mafia. Maybe they find me, beat me. Uh, no Thai Mafia in America. Uh, thai Mafia in Thailand. They find my family, burn their house. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I shouldn't have told you. You don't believe me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. It just sounds so... You say your husband is a lawyer? Yes. My husband is an immigration attorney. I'll talk to him. Maybe he can help you? And that's why I'm here, Mr. Bonner. My husband says you're well known in the Thai community, and you can help? I would like to meet with this woman. Of course. Jai Di! We found someone who can help you. This is Phil Bonner. Mr. Bonner, 
This is the woman I told you about, Jai Di. So, uh, Di Kap Jai Di? Don't worry. You can trust him. He is an INS special agent. He has a Thai wife. Swadika Philbonner. On arrival in Los Angeles, Rochana Chunchujit is met at LAX. At Los Angeles Airport, I see him. Hello. My name? Noi. He look like very white, color like Thai Chinese. In Thailand, the Chinese control the mercantile part of the economy, particularly garment factories. Maninut Samsati. That's not my name. Just get in the car. He said, and that's it. Straight from airport to El Monte. And I'm stuck up in El Monte. As soon as I arrived, I was taken to see Auntie Suni. Welcome to El Monte. Your passports, please. I will keep these for safekeeping. And can I have the gold chain around your neck? And the 10 $100 bills? Whatever ideas you may have about El Monte, let me tell you right away that you're here to work. That is your primary and only duty. You are provided with a place to stay rent free. Meantime, there are some rules you have to follow. Number one, you are assigned to a particular unit. You cannot leave the unit without permission. You cannot visit the other units, nor wander into the compound outside. Doors and windows must be closed at all times. Two, some of you may think after a while that you do not want to continue to work. <laughs> As you know, I have advanced a lot of money for you to be here. So until you repay the $4,800 debt for this arrangement, as agreed to by you, you will remain indoors and work. Three, working hours are 7 a.m. till midnight. So tomorrow you start at seven sharp. In fact, I suggest that you be at your workstation by 6.59. You understand? There's plenty of work to be done. Four, there will be no days off. Because you have incurred such a huge debt, it is important that you work seven days a week. Five, you will get two breaks a day. Once at noon for lunch, and another at six for dinner. One hour is plenty of time for you to eat your food, rest, wash if you like. As long as you work hard, everything will be fine. You work, you will get paid. Since you are paid according to your output, if you take your time, it means you will take a long time to repay your debt. <laughs> this means you will grow old here. So, I trust that you will obey these rules. I know that you are professional. After all, we only pick the best. Enjoy your stay here at El Monte. <laughs>